guys, this is Pam and welcome back to my channel. This video is for you guys out there and uh, it's been a while since I've made a video like this, a versus video. I'm going to be comparing Aventus by the House of Creed and Cedra Bois by the House of Mancera. Uh, I believe these two perfumes have been compared a lot and I want to give you my personal take on them, um, how they differ or how they are similar to each other and which one is my favorite um, overall. So why don't we go ahead and start with Aventus. Um, so again, this is a very popular fragrance. You probably heard so much about it, like nonstop, but I'm just thinking, why not, you know, give you my take on it. So the first time I tried Aventus, um, I wasn't really wowed by it. To be honest because because maybe because i have so much expectation about you know what it should smell like um because it's been raved about and hyped up like non-stop um in the fragrance community so i have a lot of expectation um which is you know sometimes it's easier to just not know anything about it so it's easier to form your own opinion anyway having said that my first impression wasn't really that great but the more i try it the more I appreciate Aventus and uh, the more I like it and uh, I see why um, a lot of people are crazy about Aventus. So I'm gonna have, uh, I mean, I have my phone here with me. So let's talk about just a little bit, just for those who um, maybe you have not heard of it. Um, you're the rare person who has not heard about it. Okay, so let's go to Fragrantica. Or just for reminder for all of us, Aventus by Creed is a Chypre fruity fragrance for men. So it is uh, marketed towards men. It launched in 2010. Um, top notes are pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, and apple. Middle notes are birch, patchouli, Mora Moroccan jasmine, and rose. Base notes are musk, oak moss, umber ambergris, and vanilla. Or vanilla, I guess. Okay, so there's a lot of notes going on, and it's uh, the same with uh, Cedra Boss, also lots of notes. Um, so I have already worn Aventus and same as Cedra Boss uh, separately and at the same time. So uh, I've tested it thoroughly to give you my uh, as accurate as possible of a description and comparison. But let's go ahead just to um, uh, remind myself once again, of the opening. I don't really have any problem wearing either one. Okay, so Aventus is a very pineapple-y, very zingy, um, fresh type of fragrance. I'm going to tell you off the bat, it is very masculine. All throughout the entirety of the fragrance, it's very, very masculine. Although if you were a girl or you're a lady and you want to wear it, no problem at all it just depends on the person you know if you think that's something you want to wear why not although just to uh, give you a description it is a very masculine in terms of what you expect from a masculine fragrance from a male fragrance it has that very cologne-ish vibe very fresh citrusy and very fruity um, it does have that pineapple um, on it so it is uh, I do smell pineapple. Now, um, there was one time I, uh, some of my fragrances, most of my samples I kept in my closet. So sometimes I spray, you, you know, I spray fragrances in my closet. So one of the times I was um, sampling Aventus, I sprayed it one time and I forgot I had to get something um, from my closet. And OMG, the, 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 the scent it left in my closet was just so good. It's almost like I forgot what I sprayed and I was like, what the heck is that, is that smell? It smells so awesome. I love it. So uh, Aventus to me is, is a definite head turner. Like it will grab people's attention. Um, so if you're a guy and you, you want to... Um, uh, get people's attention or get the girl's attention this will def definitely do that for you it is a uh, um, fruity citrus um, sweet uh, fresh and it's a, it has a little bit of sharpness to it now I wouldn't say that this perfume is sharp but in comparison to Cedra Bois 
it is sharper okay so when I give you this descriptions uh, please do know that it is in comparison to one another one another so Cedra boss I'm sorry Aventus once you get over that fruitiness and um, sweetness which stays okay each it, 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 it stays for the rest of the wear but um, like right now I'm already picking up the woodiness and it does get a very woody um, in the dry down. It projects really good, it performs really well. Um, yeah, it's a very, very good fragrance. Um, I, I can't really say anything wrong about it. Um, the only thing is the price, right? So. Aventus um, by Creed for 3.3 ounces is $445 retail. Then you gotta add the tax, or if you're gonna get it shipped, then you add more to that. Although at discounters, you can probably get it uh, around $350 to $360, and um, maybe a little bit cheaper if you, got, if you get a, a tester bottle. Um, in comparison to Cedra Boss, which you can get for $180 retail um, for four ounces. Again, Creed is only 3.3 ounces versus Cedra Boss is a four ounces, so way more juice. For $180 if you pay retail, but you can probably get it $100 to $120 from discounters. So price-wise, you're getting more juice for less money with Cedra Boss. So that's one of the comparisons. If price is an issue for you, um, then that's something that you have to think about. Okay, so let's talk about Cedra Bois real quick. Um, first of all, let's read. Uh, you know what? Let, let me spray it first again. Let me spray. And I do have a bottle of the Cedra Bois by Montera. I recently just get got this from one of the discounters, and I have I've been wearing this nonstop. So you're already knowing the hint which one I like better, um, but I will explain it to you why. So Cedra Bois by Mansera. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I just love this one. Oh, I just love this. Okay, so let's go ahead and read what what Fragrantica says first. Um, for your information. Um, okay. Cedra Bois is a citrus aromatic fragrance uh, for women and men. So this is marketed for both men and women. Uh, top notes are Sicilian lemon, black currant. Black currant is also with um, Aventus. Bergamot, spicy notes. Uh, middle notes are fruity notes, patchouli leaf and water jasmine. Base notes are cedar, leather, sandalwood, vanilla, white musk and moss so they do have a lot of similarities in the note breakdown and i'm gonna tell you they are very 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 similar i don't know if uh, mancera uh, tried to copy um aventus i am not the one to say but they are very very similar cedra was in comparison to aventus so you do get that pineapple -y vibe like that pineapple scent to it but it's like a flat pineapple you know like when you get a, a, a pineapple that's bright yellow like like when you like a fresh pineapple let's say and, and you cut it and you get like a fresh bright yellow pineapple that's very um, sharp um, and just zingy and citrusy that's Ventus Cedra Bois, Cedra Bois is the, let's say, that pineapple that's been kind of sitting on your kitchen counter for four days and it's not as bright of a yellow anymore. It's more like a darker, deeper yellow and you cut it so you still get that sweet pineapple scent but it's not as zingy and uh, sharp anymore. That is Cedra Bois in terms of that pineapple. So what I would say with Cedra Bois it's the, the citrusness uh, is more uh, sort of lemony 
like a yeah it's it's very lemony um but it does still give me that pineapple vibe but once again it's more flat in comparison to aventus which is more bright and uh, sharp um it's still a very fruity uh and, and woody but the woodiness on a cedra boss it's more towards at the end now i would say okay of that although they are very very similar in terms of the scent profile the type of vibe it gives you it's fruity it's fresh it's uh, it's woody it's masculine but here are where they differ okay so uh the uh, aventus the it is more woody okay it's more woody especially in the dry down cedra boss is still woody also woody but not as much so overall i would say everything aventus is is cedra boss only toned down so it's pineapple it's fresh it's woody but less than what aventus gives you um yeah it's just it's just like a more so cedra boss is a more toned down more subtle aventus uh, on the very very dry down let's say you've been wearing both for like four or five hours like to me when i compared them side by side i wore them at the same time let's say in that three four hour mark without spraying much maybe like two on each arm they are like it's hard to tell the difference it's really hard to tell the difference but to me you get the difference on the experience the experience that you get okay because and the very dry down they're pretty much the same exact perfume okay and the three four five hour mark but on the initial spray till you get to that three four five hour mark the experience is very different different so aventus would give you a better projection and i would say a better sillage so when i wore them side by side aventus was giving me more projection um it was giving me more hits okay i was getting more whiffs of it in comparison to cedra boss by mancera but overall I am enjoying the subtle subtlety of Mancera, the Cedra Boss. In terms of, I like to get uh, more of it. Like, I, I oh, actually I spread it here. I, I like to get more of it. I like to study it more. And um, when I was wearing it by itself, and every time I get a whiff of uh, Cedra Boss, it's 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 giving me something different than the last whiff. Like sometimes it's fruity, and then sometimes it's a uh, woody, and then sometimes it's both. Or sometimes I get like a fresh vibe, and sometimes I just get like a woody vibe, um, which I am enjoying that. With Aventus, the the whiff it gives me, the experience it gives me, it's sort of the same. Um, again, it's very very masculine, um, and again, this is an opinion of a female um, talking about two very masculine fragrances although cedra bois is um marketed for both male and female i think it you could consider it as a masculine fragrance so if you are a male if you are a man uh, or a guy and you want a more masculine fragrance aventus is uh, the more masculine one it will give you more of a yeah just that that manly uh, i'm a dude kind of uh, feel um it will make you more confident i guess if that's what you're looking for um i guess fragrance smelling good does give one more confidence nothing wrong with that um when you're fresh when you smell fresh and clean it gives you more confidence uh so yeah if so if that's what you're looking for you want to be more confident you're um you want to attract ladies um Aventus, I would say, is my suggestion for you if money is not is not an object, okay? Now, if you are a female, I would say, I would suggest Cedra Boss because I'm a female, I'm a girl. Um, uh, Cedra Boss is still masculine, but it's definitely way more unisex. I have been wearing this. It doesn't look like 
that I have been wearing it. Although I, I did just get this like two weeks ago, but I have been wearing this. There is plenty of juice here. Um, so it doesn't look like I have not been wearing it. Um, I love it. I enjoy it. I still feel confident. I don't, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of iffy wearing Adventist. Like I feel like it's way, way too masculine for me to wear or to pull off. Uh, so for me, I prefer um, Cedra Bois as a, as a girl, okay, or as a, as a female. Um, okay, let's talk about price real quick. So Aventus Creed for 3.3 .3 ounces. Uh, let's just let's just talk about when you if, if you do buy it at discounters. It's 360 dollars, 350 360 dollars discounted for 3.3 .3 ounces versus Cedra Bois. Um, you can get it for 100, 115, 120 dollars for four ounces. So you get more juice for less money. But to me, get what you want. So is Aventus Creed worth it um, for the amount of juice that you get? If that's what you want to smell like, if this is the perfume for you, yes, it's a very expensive, but can you really, I mean, would you really be happy to pay, uh, let's say even, you know, if you pay uh, some sort of dollars, less dollars for Cedra Boss, but that's not what you want. You know, it's not going to give you the full experience of what you want. So if a Ventus Creed is really like that, the one that makes you happy, the one that like makes you feel more confident, uh, then I guess that makes it worth it. You know, if you have, if you have the money though, like, you know, don't be stealing other people's, <laughs> let's not do that. So if, if you have the budget, then wait till you get what you want. But if Cedra Boss is satisfying to you, it makes you happy, that's what you want, you are pleased, you are confident, um, then go for the Cedra Boss. It's a wonderful, wonderful, or something here flying. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, fragrance. So I do highly recommend both of them. They are very, very, very good fragrance. Um, so again, Creed Aventus, it is true you don't get as much juice, but I would say um, it does project a little better, right? And it gives you a little bit more performance. So uh, you do, you are getting a little bit more of each spray versus um, Cedra Bois. So let's say if you do eight sprays with Aventus, if you want to match it with um, Cedra Bois, uh, I would say with Aventus you do eight, and Cedra Boss, you probably have to do four to five extra sprays, which I would say maybe like 12 sprays, 12 to 15 sprays with uh, Cedra Boss. So yeah, that is my overall opinion. So to give you a recap, Aventus Creed is more woody, definitely more masculine, um, projects a little better, uh, gives you a little bit more sillage, um, it gives you more presence uh, versus Cedra Boss is a little bit more on the flat side, more rounder overall, but I, I, that's something I do enjoy more. I, I'm, I'm enjoying how um, uh, subtler, more subtle, and um, rounder uh, Cedra Boss is. Um, it's a definitely more unisex. I, I have no problem uh, wearing it myself. Once again, either one, you can't go wrong. It is a perfect summer fragrance. Um, fresh, fruity, masculine. Uh, yeah, so please let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer. Okay, I'm curious which one people like more. Um, to me, Cedra Bois is the winner. Although if I smell Aventus on somebody, I think they, they would smell good. And uh, it's a definite head turner. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope that this has been very helpful to you. And once again, give me a like and hit that subscribe button. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.